folks, today we're going to make some sensory bottles for baby. To make the sensory bottles, you will need a light bottle, water, sequins, glitter, rocks, or other small items, scissors, and tape. You should have all these things in your kit except for the scissors. Hi there, my name is Jocelyn Donovan. I'm the CPNP for Niwasa Kandasa and Teg, and I'm here today to teach you how to make a sensory bottle. So maybe some of you have made sensory bottles before for your kids and maybe for some of you it's your first time. I chose a small bottle because I wanted something light that baby would realistically be able to pick up and shake themselves. But you can use any shape or size bottle you like. So first thing, we're going to fill it up with some of our cool stuff. So you can put in your glitter. Glitter is always fun and it gets everywhere. So you're welcome. You'll have a glitter house for the next while. And I put in some of these sequins. I wanted to pick things that were different sizes and different shapes and different weights. So they would move through the water differently too. And yeah, I put a couple heavy rocks in to show how they go to the bottom. And now we have some things in there. Fill it up with water. And I'm not going to fill it all the way to the top. That's plenty because you want a little bit of air in there so you can shake it. So I'm going to fasten on my lid as tight as you can. Oh good, nothing's pouring out. But just to be safe, I'm going to put on some tape around the edge too. I'm going to use my duct tape because little babies, they, they learn pretty fast how to open things. <laughs> All of a sudden you have a toddler who knows how to open everything in the house. So I'm gonna just take a nice layer of this duct tape, wrap it around the top and cut it. There we go, put it right in here. Wrap it all the way around. There we go. <laughs> so, when you're playing with these with baby, you want to have conversations with them about it. Like, look at how the glitter is floating in the water. Can you watch it swirl around? Look at how these sequins are floating on the top. Look at how the rocks are sinking to the bottom. You can shake, 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 shake. You want to learn a song about shaking? You do. Shake it, baby, shake it. Shake it all you can. Shake it like a milkshake and turn it in a pen. Rumble to the bottom, rumble to the top. Shake it, baby, shake it until we holler stop. And there you go. You have your very own sensory bottle for baby. So you can also do this with food coloring, you can do this with oil and water, or you can do it just with water and soap to make some bubbles, or just water and sequins. There are tons of different ways of making sensory bottles. And baby likes to look at it and explore it, maybe move it around, roll it around. And you can also use this as a calming device. So if you have an older child and they are having some big feelings, you can tell them, shake this as hard as you can. And those are like your feelings right now. And then let it settle and take some big breaths. <sighs> These are all of your feelings settling so we can have a nice calm talk. I find it soothing too. I like to look at it. So why do we make sensory bottles? There are a lot of benefits, like they're easy to make and they are inexpensive to make and they can be different every time. You can choose what goes in them. If you want to make one that's fall themed in the fall and winter themed in the winter, that's great. Or birthday themed one for their birthday. You know, all these things work really well. 
they also teach a lot of skills. So you might not realize it, but baby is learning a lot about science and physics when they're watching the bottles. They are seeing that heavy things sink faster than light things. And those connections are being made in their brain from such an early age, and they're gonna benefit them for the rest of their lives. It's also helping their gross motor skills when they're shaking it and their fine motor skills when they're using their fingertips to look for things in it or to turn it around. You're using descriptive language when you're talking about the different items in the bottle. So that helps their language skills as well. They are developing their math skills with their spatial reasoning, recognizing how the items float around each other. Maybe you can count how many rocks are inside. So there are so many things that you can do with your sensory bottles to make it an educational and enriching experience for your baby. All right, folks, I hope you learned a little bit about how to make a sensory bottle and please feel free to experiment with any kind of sensory bottles you like at home. Bye now.